I'm making this video out of necessity. I didn't want to make it, but I've been left with no choice. I was watching a video the other week by a man called Grant Johnson, and he has uh, the nickname, uh, and humble as it is, Mormon Answer Man. Apparently he's the Mormon with all the answers. The video in question is called Mormon Racism, True or False, Mormon Saved. And it was really looking at, uh, that there's a claim against the Mormon Church in the Book of Mormon that there's a verse, a particular verse, that shows that Joseph Smith was really racist against blacks. And Mormon Answer Man is basically defending Joseph Smith and those comments in the Book of Mormon. And he's saying that basically they're on a par to the distinction between Jews and Gentiles that is found in the Bible and recognised by Christ. So, anybody who's a Christian, a true Christian, and they've read the Bible, they can find in Acts chapter 8, verses 26 to 40, a story about an Ethiopian eunuch who had the, the, the gospel preached to him by Philip and he believed and was baptised. He became a Christian. And Ethiopians, as we know, are from Africa and they have black skin. Now, being a, an Ethiopian, a, a black skinned man from Africa, this man was hindered in no way from believing and becoming a Christian. We also read in the New Testament, and especially in the book of Revelation, uh, verse in chapters 1 and chapter 5 and chapter 20 of Revelation, we read that believers, followers of Christ, are all priests under Christ. We're all priests. There's no distinction made between skin colour at all. Now, with that in mind, let's have a read at 2 Nephi, chapter 5, verse 21. And he caused the cursing to come upon them, yea, even a sore cursing, because of their iniquity. For behold, they had hardened their hearts against him, that they had become like unto a flint. Wherefore, as they were white and exceedingly fair and delightsome, that they might not be enticing unto my people, the Lord God did cause a skin of blackness to come upon them. Now, to summarise, these people, because of their iniquity and hardening their hearts toward God, had a sore curse placed upon them. And that curse was changing their skin colour from white to black so that other people wouldn't find them enticing. What does that sound like to you? Be an honest and reasonable man or woman. That is racism. Now, coupled with this, a black man was not allowed to operate in the priesthood in the Mormon church until about the 1970s when racism was increasingly looked upon as unwelcome in society. The Mormon church overturned that uh, curse or, or, or that exclusion and black men were then allowed to, to operate in the priesthood within the Mormon church. But lo and behold, even though the curse was lifted, the skin colour remained the same. Makes no sense. Why not? Why doesn't why didn't the skin colour change back? Well, because it is absolute nonsense. Okay? It's nothing but racism. There's no spiritual element to that at all. The spiritual element to that verse is the dark spiritual element of Joseph Smith's racism. Now let's be honest again. The book was written in the 19th century when racism was fairly common and accepted in the Americas. Just so happens that that verse turns up in the Book of Mormon. Now, Let's uh, have a wee sort of look back at the video. I made a comment under Mormon Answer Man's video, basically explaining that I found it staggering and absolutely audacious 
for him to draw a parallel between that sort of racism and Christ's distinction between Jews and Gentiles. Mormon asked the man, got back to me, and he said, Well, it is on a par. It was not racism with Jesus Christ, and it was not racism with Joseph Smith. Both are on a par. And I think the verses themselves speak volumes. Be honest. He then said, What is wrong is all these people accusing people of racism when they don't even understand what's in the Bible. Now, you go and check out the verses, the chapters. Go to Acts chapter 8, verses 26 to 40. Go to Revelation chapter 1, chapter 5, chapter 20. Read through it, and it's all clear. The Bible's clear. There's no distinction made between races. There's no distinction made between skin colour and uh, priesthood, and etc. It's not there. Okay, It's nothing like what Joseph Smith has done in those verses. So, Mormon answer man, uh, then, after ill-defining our exchange and ill-defining the situation, claiming that I don't understand the Bible, he blocked me, so I wasn't even able to respond. I wasn't able to clarify the situation as I'm doing in this video. So, that's why I made this video. Now, let me just be frank. The Book of Mormon has verses like that because it was supernaturally given to Joseph Smith, I believe. In part, at least. But it was supernaturally given by demons because it has within it doctrines of demons. Why can't Mormons be honest, reasonable and fair when it comes to those verses? That in itself speaks volumes about the spirit behind the Mormon church. Thanks for listening. Bye.